Uh, my dog Drop Shot is enjoying uh, standing on a part of tennis history because this is a lawn, a piece of the lawn that came from the centre court at Milton. Uh, and um, it brings back fond memories to me because um, I beat a very young Pat Cash to win the Queensland Open there. Uh, and uh, so for me it's got a lot of history. Mum also won the Queensland Open as well. Um, and uh, so it's, um, it's great that we've got the little patch of grass to stand on and dream about what used to be. Here we are at Borellan, home of the Yvonne Hooligan Giant Racket. Now this particular YouTube is introducing Charlie Bancott and how he introduced Stefan to the game of tennis. Thank you and good afternoon. Hi, this is Charlie Fanker. Welcome to the Fru Park YouTube channel. Here we have this famous Stefan Racket from the Milton Tennis Centre. Look forward to telling you a story about that later on. Hi, it's Charlie Fancut and I'm here with some little mementos from our trophy case uh, and from the Fancut family. Um, I've got some friends from Japan who are just visiting me here and right now. We were telling a story about uh, when my brother and I taken by my father and a group of other children from Fancutt's Academy, went to Japan in 1975. Japan was very close to Westerners then, and it was a great experience for us. But my, 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 I won the 16 and under uh, national singles in Japan, and I won with my brother, we won the 16 and under doubles. And I was just having a laugh with my friends here because when we would win the Queensland Championship in those days, this is the trophy we would get. And, and we, so we were used to this. And all of a sudden we went to the trophy presentation and they gave us this and this and we were so excited. We thought it was the best thing. We, and of course it was. I mean, compared to two. And we thought they were like solid gold, $500 trophies. And we were so happy. We're still so happy. I mean, they still have best trophies probably in the, in the trophy cabinet. But uh, it was quite funny because two days later we went to the department store and we saw these trophies there and they were about $3. But of course those days the Japanese yen was very low. But still it's our, one of my favourite... Um, stories and trips and it's certainly a great memento and I'm sure glad we could share it with my friends from Japan today. So good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, Peter Racer here from Fruit Park YouTube channel and uh, we're here for the main purpose now to talk to Charlie about the, uh, the step and racket. Now first of all Charlie, the ball. Uh, tell us a little bit about the, uh, the ball because that wasn't always a fan cut ball was it? No, that was uh, the Stephen, one of the Stefan tennis balls that went with the Stefan racket. Stefan never did anything and small, uh, <laughs> small ideas. He was a great thinker and a, still is and a great promoter and, and a marvellous achievement with his business, obviously. Yes, so, and now with his boats. Yes, the Razor. So, okay, now, tell us, Charlie, how Stefan got involved in, in tennis. Well, um, I think he played a little bit, but I was in Hobart, which I remember clearly for that trip for two reasons. One, I went over the bridge and two days later it fell down. The second thing that was a great, uh, or a, a nice memory from the trip was uh, I was playing at the courts and there was a gentleman playing next to me, uh, hit next to me, and um, he was uh, Stefan from the TV, I seen him on the TV there. As a fellow Queensland down in Hobart, I went, walked up and said hello. We became great mates and uh, we started to coach in tennis and he got very, very, very keen on the sport and we had a great relationship. He was one of my best buddies while I played the tour. He encouraged me to the achievements of getting the women and I did. Uh, I'll never forget one of the sayings he told me. He said, Charlie, if you're green, you grow, and if you're right, you're right. And uh, he said that, in, I remember him saying that right in our driveway of our tennis centre here. And so Steve, as, as the friends like me know him, uh, was, was a wonderful um, friend and a, and a great, uh, I loved welcoming him into a great involvement in tennis. And he didn't do it by half, did he? Because he no sooner got uh, started to play a little bit more seriously than he thought he'd uh, sponsor the Queensland Open, I think. Is that right? Yeah, well, actually, the first time he ever sponsored was the one, first one that I did, which was a precursor to our days at the Hopman Cup. I, I, I'd learned a lot of lessons doing, doing a lot of mistakes in my first time, but Steve and Bob Mathers, and I have to mention Bob Mathers. Oh, Sir Robert, yeah. yeah Sir Robert Mathers in this, because if you think Nadal and Federer were a great rivalry, let me tell you that the matches between Stefan and his great mate, Bob Mathers, were legendary. I mean, I've never seen anything do or die. And, and um, if Steve lost to Bob, well, he was going to have five lessons in the next five days to try and beat Bob next week. So uh, I'd like to mention Bob and, you know, the dear man, dear, lovely guy as well, and a uh, great family friend as well. Uh, yes, uh, Sir Robert made this. Uh, I had a little bit to do with Sir Robert when I was in the uh, Young Liberals in the uh, early 80s. And uh, yes, he, if you knew Robert, 
uh, you just marched at a quicker and a higher pace than anyone else around you because he just motivated you. Just uh, two fantastic guys. Uh, so with that, we'll uh, say good afternoon, and uh, I'll just go and turn the uh, the old beast over there off. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Peter. Cheers. Hi, my name's Ian McCauley, and this is my wife Judy, and uh, we're proud to be part of the promotion uh, for the history of uh, Milton tennis courts.